I'm Lennox from St. Lucia. I'm the general manager of Sandals Halcyon, um, one of our smallest resorts in the Eastern Caribbean. I have been the general manager there for the last 12 years, but um, generally I've been with Sandals for 19 years. So you couldn't have a better resource person to tell you about St. Lucia and Sandals. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you very much for talking to Breaking Travel News at the World Travel Market 2014. Um, can you tell us a bit, why are events like this important to Sandals? Well, it's important because you are able to come in here as a group and market to so many different people. Um, normally, what we do is we go to various travel agents individually and tell them about our product. But, you know, the World Travel Market being one of the biggest events as far as tourism is concerned, it gives us a a good opportunity to meet so many different people and not only that it also gives us an idea of what the competition is doing so we learn a lot more about our competitors and we you know we are able to bring directly to the tour operators travel agents you know and meet them and discuss poss possibility of businesses in the future um, what we are doing here is meeting other um, counterparts you know especially in the travel trade and get to let they learn what we are doing and I'm sure that my colleagues here are able to get into contractile agreements with the various tour operators and agents that they meet over here. And can you tell us, our viewers a little bit about the changes we've seen with Sandals over the last year? Well, in the last year, we have been some dramatic changes. One of our biggest achievements was um, purchasing a resort in Grenada. You know, Grenada never really had any major hotel chains. So we actually are the first major chain to be in Grenada. And we took over a, a small resort that was owned by a, a Grenadian family. And it was called La Sous Grenada. And now what we have done is bought this resort, gutted it out, and transformed it and sandalized it, so to speak. You know, when we say sandalizing it, it's putting all the various features of sandals, things like what it means, you know, a swimmer pool bar, um, uh, up to about 12 to 14 restaurants, you know, all the different things that we do, discovery dining, you know, um, water sports. So sandalizing means actually taking this whole hotel and changing it out completely and putting the sandals mark on it. Yeah. And what exciting developments can we look forward to in the coming year? As I mentioned earlier, um, we opened Grenada last year. This project completed in, in a two months, it, sorry, in 10 months. And we are now working on Barbados. It used to be um, a couple's hotel. Couples bought it, spent about $2 million to refurbish it. We took it over and we are now spending over 40 million US dollars to refurbish it. It will be opened, Sandals Barbados opened 20th of January next year. And it will be a really a futuristic hotel. I don't know if you've seen what we've done in Grenada, but you know, the future is really, really bright um, for us. We have a very dynamic CEO, Adam Stewart, who is heading the company in the next 25 years. So it looks very good. Um, we also have an interesting project for the first in the, in the Caribbean. Um, we got um, authorization to build the first floating hotel in the Caribbean. Um, a number of our architects went to the Maldives, Bora Bora, to see what they were doing and now they have returned and what we are doing now is we have permission from the Jamaican government to have the first floating hotel in the, in the Caribbean. We start with five overwater bungalows and usually you know the Caribbean governments are very competitive. Now that Jamaica has given us the go-ahead, we expect that uh, probably St. Lucia very soon, the Bahamas. So this could be the, you know, the advent of a new, a new future for sandals over water bungalows, yeah. We hope so. And with all these exciting developments, it's no surprise that sandals received a World Travel Award last year. What does an, um, an award like that mean to sandals? Well, it, it is from the, tra the travel agents. I mean, the travel, it's like the Oscar of, 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 the, tra of the travel trade. When your, your own agents are telling you the best, you know, because it's based on feedback from their customers. So, yeah, it is very, very important to us. We've run it 18 years in a row, and um, our hotels continue to win awards because um, we are the best in what we do. We are undoubtedly the best hotel chain in the Caribbean, and we are the best all-inclusive in the world. You know, it's very, it's not, it's very easy for us to make a statement like this. This we have been challenged because we say. You know, sandals offer more options than any other resort on the planet. That's a bold statement, very bold statement, and we stand by that. Well, congratulations on the award, and thank you for talking to Breaking Travel News. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.